hi everyone okay let's provide the solution to this problem here a plus b is equal to 10 a b is equal to 10 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 we're going to solve this problem simultaneously because in equation 1 we have two unknowns and equation 2 in equation 2 we also have two unknowns but then from equation 1 from equation 1 a plus b is equal to 10 we can make here the subject to get 10 minus b so this will now be called our equation 3 now we're going to substitute this into equation 2 remember equation 1 give birth to the equation 2 and sorry equation 1 give birth to equation 3 so we have to include equation 2 which is a b equals 10 and now a is our a now is equal to 10 minus b okay then we multiply by this b is equal to 10 10 times b is 10b b times b is b squared and this is equal to 10 now let me write this one first minus b squared plus 10b minus 10 is equal to 0 okay and to remove the negative we're going to multiply this by negative 1 to make this one positive then this becomes okay if this is um, positive now that means this will turn to negative so let me have negative 10 here negative 10 b then this turns to positive 10 and then we have 0 now we're going to use the formula for this right remember the formula for quadratic equation let me turn this equation right because the formula i'm going to write will have b so let's write this as x squared minus 10x plus 10 equals 0 so that our equation becomes x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now guess what i'm going to do substitute the value of a b c into the formula so that our x will now be in place of minus b i'm, I'm going to have minus minus 10 plus or minus b squared will now be minus 10 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 10 10 here is the c divide all through by 2 times 1 so that if we go ahead now our x will be 10 plus or minus we have 10 minus 10 squared is 100 then 4 times 1 times 10 is 40 as we divide by 2 now we can still go ahead right so that x will be 10 plus or minus square root of 60 over 2 now we do not want to use calculator for this because we don't want to have decimal so let's break root 60 here x will now be 10 plus or minus root 60 can be 4 multiplied by 15 root 4 multiply by root 15 then we divide it by 2 our x will now be 10 plus 
or minus the square root of by the way square root of 4 is 2 so let's write 2 outside here then we have root 15 then we divide by 2 okay now let's do it let's finish on this other side okay let's finish it right there so now our x will be equal to 10 plus or minus 2 root 15 over 2 so that we can let 2 go into both numerators as x will now be 5 plus or minus root 15 2 into 10 is 5 2 into 2 is 1 1 times root 15 is root 15 now this means that x is equal to okay is equal to 5 plus root 15 or 5 minus root 15 now let's pick one of the values of x remember that this x is also equal to b so we have known the value of b so to get the value of a we go back to the equation that we had before and um, that is a equals 10 minus b okay so our a will now be 10 minus boom bracket 5 plus root 15 we have to put this bracket so that we will now open the bracket with the negative here so our a is 10 minus 5 minus root 15 so a is now 5 minus root 15 so we are saying that when a is equal to 5 minus root 15 b is equal to 5 plus root 15 okay so if you are been oh sorry i wrote out of sight if you have been following me by now you should know the next set of um values right now let's work again remember we we are left with another value of b which is um five minus root 15 and our a is 10 minus b from equation 3 so a now will be 10 minus open bracket we have 5 minus okay our b this time around is minus root 15 5 minus root 15 so our a now will be 10 minus 5 plus root 15 a is equal to 5 plus root 15 okay so now when a is equal to 5 plus root 15 b is equal to 5 minus root 15 so by this we have solved the problem completely thank you for watching